Hi, it's Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourmarketing.com. And I want to talk to you today about testimonial marketing, giving testimonials as well as receiving testimonials and using them in your marketing and why both is so important and both are revenue generating activities that you can be doing and it's free what do you know and i'm talking about this today because i literally just gave a testimonial for an organization that i've been in for a couple of years now and we were on a call some of us who were on this committee and we were talking about um, generating new members into the organization and we were thinking well we need this and we need that on the web page and blah 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 and so i'm like oh testimonials. So I just shared my story about how I joined that organization and uploaded it to my YouTube and sent it off to them so that they could use it on the website. <clears throat> and the reason that I'm talking about giving and receiving is because I've gotten paying clients from giving testimonials before you guys. So <clears throat> the ones mostly that come from uh, clients usually come from is it hasn't happened in a while because it was way back around 13 years ago that I was going to these events for this one coach that I had. And I went to about five of her events, the same event twice a year, right? For, for two and a half years. And they were great and I learned a ton. And so, but every single event I would give, I would give a video or I think it was at that time an audio. <laughs> now we do video testimonials. And they were recorded either um, during her program. So her program went on and she recorded the whole thing on audio. And then she would box up that audio with the, the actual manual and all that kind of stuff. So people would buy the home study of that particular event. And a lot of people bought it. I mean, she was a good online marketer. And so my testimonials and my website and my name and everything uh, was on a lot of her products that she would sell. And I got calls all the time. Oh, I heard you on so-and-so's program and I really wanted to just reach out to you. And I've gotten paying clients from that, you guys. So ever since then, I've been, anytime I go to an event especially, I'll give a testimonial of the person whose event it was, or sometimes I'll also give a testimonial for one of the speakers they might have had, specifically so that speaker can use it in their marketing to talking about their talk and their stage presence or whatnot. Um, I also give testimonials for people's, reviewing people's books or programs or other things that I might have taken advantage of. Uh, and, and it's just, first of all, it's just good karma <laughs> to give uh, testimonials and it only takes a couple minutes. So seriously, the one I just did today took, I don't know, it was probably three or four minute video and then I uploaded it to my YouTube, I sent them the link and I'm done. And they can use however they want. But it's good karma, number one. It, so good things will come back to you. Uh, it could be good positioning for you to be a part of something or to show, be shown on a website or in the marketing for a certain organization like the one I just did. It's good positioning for me, frankly. Uh, it's good uh, in just in many different senses of the word. I mean, if you, especially if you have clients, a lot of times I'll go to client events and they have workshops or retreats and I'll give them a testimonial and it's, you just got to give more and it only takes a couple minutes to stop and give somebody either a written testimonial if you prefer. I prefer video because I just talk easily and it's faster, frankly, than writing and formatting and spell checking. <laughs> but either way is good. And if you, <clears throat> you know, if you gave me a written testimonial, I certainly wouldn't refuse it. I would put it up with my other written testimonials, right? And sometimes even now, if you give someone a really good testimonial, they use it everywhere. They'll create memes around it on social media. You'll be all over their social media. They might create it in their header of their website and put you in there. If it's like, yeah, my profits increased by 200%. Oh yeah, I'd be putting you everywhere if you said something like that to me, right? And I have had clients tell me that, frankly. And I do put them everywhere. <laughs> Uh, and then to take it a step further, I just started doing with some of my big mastermind clients, offering them to do a little joint um, introduction video kind of a thing. So I have them come on and we go on Zoom side by side and I'm saying how wonderful they are and talking everything that they do amazingly. And then they turn it around and share their experience working with me. 
it's a win-win, win-win-win all the way around. So think about who you could do that with where you can put them on a pedestal and then they can put you on a pedestal. That could be with your clients or perhaps a joint venture partner or somebody that you did a webinar with or somebody who asked you to be on their stage. You could do a joint, uh, joint testimonial of each other and then you both share it onto your respective websites, uh, your respective YouTube channels, um, all over your social media, however you want to project that. So how do we, how do we get more testimonials, right? That's a lot, of, I get that question from clients a lot. Well, there's a couple different ways that I like to do it. Um, number one, if you do have live events, it's really easy to just have someone there on the breaks with a video camera taking video testimonials and having a backdrop of some sort so that it's branded with your event. That is the number one way in person, just have somebody designated to do the video testimonials for you so you don't have to be the one to do it because you need to do other things when you're at an event. Um, so that's number one. If it's not somebody that, or you don't have an event, then you could have a written, uh, I have a written testimonial sheet. So it's a Word document, it can also be a PDF, but a lot of times people like Word because then they can just open it up and type in there and answer some questions. So it asks certain questions that they, it will prompt them to share cool answers about your, your work, like what had you come to Katrina, you know, for coaching initially, right? And then they explain why they came to me usually and their problem that they had. And then what success have you seen from working with Katrina over the last X number of months? And then they would say, well, I've seen this and this and this, and my income's grown and this and this. So they'll, you gotta ask the right questions though, so that they're open-ended and also it prompts more of a positive, juicy. We want those juicy answers, right? We want those uh, increased 200% answers. We want, uh, I, you know, I increased my email list by a thousand new signups or something, whatever the transformation is that you provide. I lost 15 pounds in 30 days or, you know, something amazing. We want those shock and awe type of statements. So you have to phrase the questions in that way. The other way to, uh, and you can ask people to either write it or you could ask them to just click on their video if they're more video minded and answer the questions on video and then. I always remind people to make sure you say who you are, what you do, and what your website is. So that's the key with doing effective video testimonials. You can't just say, well, my name's Katrina and I love so-and-so's workshop and da 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 Okay, bye. And without saying your business, you have to make sure, like I started this video, I'm Katrina Sawa, I'm known as the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach. I kick people in their butt to make a whole lot of money doing what they love. And my website is jumpstartyourmarketing.com. But I want to tell you about so-and-so. And then you go into so-and-so's, right? So it's a very short little blurb about you. Or perhaps at the end, you can say, and again, my name is Katrina Sawa, and you can find me at jumpstartyourmarketing.com, right? So you could say at the end or the beginning or both, uh, just make sure that your testimonial part is longer than your self-talk. <laughs> Otherwise, we probably won't use your video. If you're promoting too much, on your video, we're probably not gonna utilize it in a testimonial video, or we'll just pull out the juicy comments that you might have said and put them in a written format somehow, right? So just something to think about, because you want as much exposure as you can get when you're giving them. So think about the opposite when you're asking for them as well. And then a final way to have people um, give you more testimonials is you can pre-write them. So if you've been working with a client for six months one-on-one, -on -one, for example, you kind of know their experience. You know probably why they came to you, what their pain points were, what they've trans uh, uh, transformed along the way, and what kind of result they may have seen. You probably know that. So you could probably write up a three or four or five sentence uh, testimonial in their words like they would potentially say and then you send it to them and say here I know you said you'd give me a testimonial and just to make it a little easier I've pre-written something you can totally edit if you'd like or just tell me it's okay and send it back and I'd be happy to use that on your behalf it works it works make it easy for people to give you testimonials so I just want to share a few things about testimonial marketing today please go out and give more 
please go out and get more because all of it works to help you grow a more smooth running money making machine of a business. Come talk to me if you need help with any of it and I will talk to you soon.